Back inside, Victoria hears about the couple's other issues with their oldest dog, Jovi. And there's the Berkey. Jovi. So does that annoy you? Does that irritate you? To no end. Yes. No. Jovi needs to go away. Jovi is the, definitely the one dog in our household that puts a strain on Maddie and I's relationship. Jovi's the biggest irritant in my life. Jovi can't be trusted. She'll snap at neighbors. She'll snap at the kids. Connor won't even walk by her. Connor walks through the kitchen and around and down the hallway to go to her room. Did she bite you? Yeah. Hmm. The dog needs to go. No. Oh, so wait a second. You're saying Jovi needs to be rehomed. Jovi can't be rehomed. Jovi is a big source of contention between Robin and Maddie. But I don't think Jovi would be better off with anybody. She's too old to be rehomed. She needs to stay with the family. With Guinness barking and with Jovi barking at the fence, it, it's definitely not peaceful. So it's, it's not a relaxing time in our backyard. There's really serious problems here. With all the dog's various health issues, with the pool, with Jovi potentially biting people, with the static mat, with the walking outside, there's a lot of things that need to be addressed. If Robin and Maddie don't get a handle on this, there's no way they're going to be able to enjoy their pool this summer. First of all, you've got Jovi's unpredictability, her biting. She snapped not just at Connor, but she snapped at friends of Connor's and she snapped at other guests that you have around here. And that is a liability. Victoria wants to discuss the contentious issue of Jovi. So I wanted to talk about Jovi for a little bit. OK. When Victoria wanted to talk about Jovi, I was very nervous as to how Robin would take it. Uh, Robin's very protective of Jovi. Because of her age and because of her situation and the fact that she is in pain, mm -hmm. any kind of training with her I don't think is going to be beneficial. OK. So in this case, we're going to have to use management. OK. And I know you're not on the same page with Jovi. There are things that you've done, Robin, with Jovi that, that uh, Maddie doesn't agree with. And you think that Maddie is maybe a little bit of controlling when it comes to Jovi. But I think it's important so there are no more arguments that you guys come together in this agreement, that there are some rules put into place. For example, when you have kids here running around here and in the pool, that Jovi should be inside. Don't let people pet Jovi. It doesn't matter who they are. Jovi is old, she's in pain. And it doesn't matter how well she knows somebody. When she gets pet, she snaps. When you've got adults here, Jovi can be outside, but nobody touches her. Okay. Even if she goes up to them. Acknowledge her, say hello, but just back off. What do you think, Maddie? When it gets to the point where Robin knows that I've had enough, she will put her inside as opposed to fight with me in front of company. But Robin doesn't like to inconvenience Jovi. Maddie really doesn't want Jovi around. And she says it's because, you know, Jovi's old. She's worried about her being in pain. But I also think it's because Jovi irritates her. And you can't rehome a 12-year-old dog, especially a 12-year-old dog with these issues. What this dog needs right now is a peaceful, calm life. Right. Let it be chill. OK. Jovi rules. Nobody pet her. Even if you have your adult guests over, just tell them, ignore her. It's summertime. I want you to have friends over. And I want you to be able to enjoy your backyard and your pool without your dogs barking and making it difficult. So let's see if you can accomplish that. I'll see you. Great. All right, Thanks. good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Owning a dog should be a pleasure, and it shouldn't cause arguments. But unfortunately, in this household, it is. If they don't work together, if they're not consistent, the arguments are going to get worse. Later in the week, Victoria checks in to see how the family is doing. I'm very interested to see how Maddie and Robin have been getting on. Today, everyone's out by the pool to enjoy the beautiful oh. weather. No. Back up. Nice job, Robin. You acted very fast with the removal training, and it has really paid off. Definitely did work. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Nice and peaceful out here without them barking, huh? <laughs> Definitely. This is great. You can finally hang out in your backyard with no barking. But the real test will be when you have more friends over. 
How you doing? Boy. Good, how are you? Okay. Hi there. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Joe. What are they doing? I am so impressed on how good they're doing. I can't believe you're allowing your guests to pet Jovi. She's an unpredictable dog and she's in a lot of pain. I think that's really irresponsible. Now, when you had guests in, this is what I noticed, they were petting her. Yeah, they were. Was that, I mean, you're worried about liability. Well, it's definitely going to be a liability if they come in and pet her. And what I think you saw is the people that have been here are all people that house sit. Jovi is old, she's in pain. It doesn't matter how well she knows somebody, when she gets pet, she's going to turn around and bite somebody if they touch her pain spot. Much better to leave her alone. Now for the real test. Maddie and Robin are hosting a pool party for all of their friends. Because it's my party and I'm loving it. This is great. We definitely are enjoying it, even when it's just the family, but this is the first time we've had friends over. This is what it should be. Your dog's hanging out over there and being happy. You guys having guests here being happy. Guests are in no danger. Guinness and Jovi were incredible. They did not have to be removed once because of barking, even though people were in the pool making noise. That was a great result. I want you to enjoy your pool. It's summertime. Have guest rounds, have parties, chill out, and have your dogs part of it, but not being a bad part, being a good part of it. Great. OK? This was a really awesome experience. It was great meeting Victoria, and we learned a lot. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.